welcome you all to part uh, two of the chapter atoms an atom always emits a light of discrete wavelengths why not continuous how does it emit that will be the session of today when a gas is heated what happens inside an atom let us check it out this is an atom which consists of nucleus and these are the energy orbits in which electrons will rotate this is the first energy orbit this is the second energy orbit this is third and this is fourth it is represented by n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 and n equal to 4 when a gas is heated that heat is absorbed by these electrons when this electron absorbs heat it jumps to the higher energy orbits which energy orbit this electron will jump that will be the next question it depends upon amount of heat absorbed if this electron absorbs more amount of heat then it will be going to the higher energy levels if it absorbs less amount of heat then it will be going to the next energy level means it depends upon the transition depends upon amount of heat absorbed let us take this electron jumps from first energy orbit to the third energy orbit but electron cannot remain there for long interval of time it must return to its uh, lower energy orbit when electron returns to its lower energy orbit it emits electromagnetic waves and the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave emitted is given by 1 divided by lambda is equal to r rydberg's constant 1 divided by n1 square minus 1 divided by n3 square since it is coming from third energy orbit let me take it as n3 as it is coming to the first energy orbit let me take it as n1 so this is the formula of wavelength of electromagnetic radiation emitted during this transition here okay let us check it out when gas is heated electrons jump to higher energy orbits depending on amount of heat absorbed when electron returns to lower energy orbit it emits electromagnetic radiation if electron returns from n2 to n1 means second orbit to first energy orbit the wavelength of radiation emitted is given by 1 divided by lambda is equal to r 1 divided by n1 square minus 1 divided by n2 square because it is coming from second energy orbit and this is the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave emitted one thing what we need to understand here is if the transition is large like if it is coming from higher energy level uh, to the lower energy level then if the transition is large then the energy of the radiation emitted will also be large if the transition is small then the energy also will be the small but energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength if energy of the radiation emitted is large wavelength is small means higher the transition lower the wavelength lower the transition higher is the wavelength right so this was some basic uh, concepts about the transition and its wavelength now here now let us understand about a spectral series of hydrogen atom okay there are five series let us understand again lyman series balmer series passion bracket and fund series and these series depends upon the transition of electrons if the transition of electron takes place from any of the higher energy orbit to the first energy orbit then that kind of series which is obtained that is called as lyman series right okay and the first transition which takes place from 2 to 1 so let me call this as first member of lyman series and let me call this as second member if the transition takes place from 3 to 1 and uh, this is called as second member and this is third member if transition takes place from 5 to 1 then it is called as a fourth member then how many members are there in this Lyman series? Infinite members are there because infinite energy levels are there, right? Which is the last member then if the transition takes place from infinity to one, right? So that that transition gives rise to the last member of a Lyman series, okay? And we know that if the transition takes place, it emits electromagnetic radiation. And wavelength of electromagnetic radiation can be calculated by this formula that is 1 by lambda is equal to r 1 divided by 1 square minus 1 divided by 2 square because this transition takes place from the second energy orbit let me take it as 2 square right it is taking to the first energy orbit let me take it as 1 square 
and this one will remain constant for Lyman series. For a particular series, this value is constant, right? So since it is coming from a second energy orbit, let me take it as one divided by two square. And R is Rydberg constant, and the value of Rydberg constant is one point zero nine seven into ten raised to seven per meter, right? Unit of R is per meter because uh, unit of lambda is meter, and the unit of R is per meter because it is not having any unit number, right? So the value of R is given here, and if you substitute this R in this equation, you will be getting with the lambda that is one thousand two hundred and fifteen Armstrong. In the similar manner, you can calculate second member, third member. Like this, right? So let me calculate the uh, last member's wavelength here, right? Okay, let me take the wavelength of this last member. That is one divided by lambda is equal to r one divided by one square. It is constant for Lyman here minus one divided by infinity square. It is nothing but infinity itself, right? So if I calculate this, we will be getting with nine hundred and eleven point six Armstrong. If you compare these two, right? So this is the longest wavelength there, and this is the shortest wavelength. As I have already told you. If the transition is longer, then energy will be higher. If energy will be higher, wavelength will be lower because energy and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other. Okay. If transition is small, then wavelength will be higher. If transition is long, the wavelength will be lower. Right? Okay. So this is the shortest and this is the longest, and the wavelength of this in between member lies between these two. Numbers now here, right? Okay. And if I check it out, these uh, radiations will fall in UV region, and these cannot be seen from our eyes now here. We cannot see these uh, lights because it lies in the UV region. You know, visible light uh, lights wavelength is from four thousand Armstrong to eight thousand Armstrong, and it does not fall in that now, right? So this this lies in UV region, right? So, in which region Lyman series lie in electromagnetic spectrum? That is ultraviolet region, right? Now, let us move on to the Balmer series. If transition takes place from any of the higher energy orbiter to the second energy orbiter, then that kind of series which is obtained is called as Balmer series, right? Okay. The first transition can be like this: from third energy orbit to the second energy orbit. So, this is called as First member of Balmer series. From four to two, it is called a second member. Five to two, it is called a third member. Six to two, it is called as fourth member. So the last member, as we know, it is from infinity to two. And if we calculate the wavelength of uh, radiations which are emitted from this transition, let me calculate the first one. That is first member of uh, Balmer series. One by lambda is equal to r. One divided by two square. And this two is constant for this Balmer series. Right? Minus it is coming from third. Let me take one divided by Three square. If we calculate this, we will be getting with lambda is equal to six thousand five hundred sixty-three Armstrong. In the similar manner, if we calculate uh, the wavelength of the last member of this series, that is one by lambda is equal to r one divided by two square minus one divided by infinity, we will be getting with three thousand five hundred sixty-three Armstrong. And if you compare these two, this is the longest wavelength and this is the shortest wavelength. Always shorter the transition, longer the wavelength. Longer the transition, shorter the wavelength. Right? Okay. So let us check it out. In which region these Balmer series lie, right? So since it is from three thousand five hundred to six thousand five hundred, this will lie in the visible region in an electromagnetic spectrum. Means we can see these lines, right? So Balmer series can be seen. As we can see this line, we can give different names for this particular lines now here, right? For example, this first member. Let me call it as H alpha. Second member, it is called as H beta. Third member, H gamma. Fourth member, let me call it as H delta. Since we can see these lines, we can give different names for this transition here, right? And Balmer series lie in visible region, right? In the similar manner, we shall study about the other series now here, right? Now uh, let us move to the passion series. Passion series is series obtained due to transition of electron from any of the higher energy orbit to the third energy orbit. Right. So this series is called as passion series. This is the first member of the passion series, second member, third member, fourth member, and this is the last member from infinity to three. Now here, this last member is also called as a series limit. 
right so this is the series limit is the wavelength of the last member of that series limit right so this is the passion series and uh, you can calculate the wavelength of the passion series by this formula 1 by lambda is equal to r 1 divided by 3 square this is constant for a particular series that is 3 square minus n2 square this is about passion series and if you go with the bracket series here the transition takes place from any of the higher energy orbit to the fourth energy orbit in the similar manner first member second member and this is last member it is also called as series limit right so the formula for bracket series is given like this here n1 is equal to 4 and n2 will be greater than 4 it starts from 5 6 7 till n of n change okay let us go with the last uh, series now here that is fourth series here the transition takes place from any of the higher energy orbit to the fifth energy orbit right first member second member last member also called as series limit right so this uh, can be the wavelength of this transition can be calculated uh, by 1 by lambda is equal to r 1 by pi square minus 1 divided by n2 square n2 is 6 7 8 till infinity right if we check out the wavelength of all the, these three series they lie in infrared region do you remember this right passion bracket and fund series lie in infrared region right so one thing what you you need to note down here is first one lyman series lies in uv region Barber series lies in visible region, and all these three series lies in infrared region. Right. So this was all about a spectral series of hydrogen atom. Thank you.